Well, good evening or good afternoon or whenever this is being broadcast. I'm John Lindley, a poet, and uh, I'm talking to Mark Sheiky, musician, poet, artist, author. Uh, the, the list goes yeah, on. A bit, bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, I've not known Mark an awful, awfully long time, but I'm really impressed by his work, and he, he actually features as the cover illustration on my new collection. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Deep Dark Light, uh, this collection by Mark and a confession here it's the first time I've held a book in my hands so I need you to tell me what this is very few people have seen it it's a strange collection because it began as a series of almost surreal poems of mm-hmm. a, about 10 or 12 that I just put together in one or two days that just were about art and a very introspective sort of ramble on what's it what's life all about really mm-hmm. and then that sat on on the shelf or on my computer for a, a year or more, wow. and then look, I looked back at it and thought, actually, these are quite good. These are yeah. really interesting. And I, with them. and I thought, how could I put something to them to make it into a bigger thing? Mm-hmm. And it, it's quite complicated because there was such a um, a neat little package mm-hmm. that it would have been difficult to to add more mm-hmm. and it but it also there were too few to make into a book or a pamphlet really unless it was very thin so I thought the solution was to make a bigger book in in sections so this book is written in three distinct sections right. um, inspired a bit by um, music really it's inspired mm-hmm. by things like a piano concerto or a piece of classical music that that is in big movements where right. each movement is quite different from each other but somehow related. I see. So That's the first right. section of that is those poems. There's yes. a section in the middle which is also other poems but also things about philosophy and mm-hmm. things short mm-hmm. one page essays and so mm-hmm. or something. And then the last section is entirely a short story oh wow right right because uh, i'm interested in just just flicking through i mean it's apparent obviously through through not even reading this that, that not only is have we got illustrations here but there are poems i guess some of these are prose poems as well and there's 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 um sections of prose and you say the third part is is a um short story is it does that relate to the do you see i know you said this kind of a, a movement almost like a musical movement hmm. through the three sections do you actually feel, obviously you feel they complement each other, or you wouldn't, I guess, have put them in the same collection, but is there a direct relation that, relationship that the, the reader would spot, do you think, there? There are a, a, there are a few links. Mm-hmm. The first ones are very introspective. There are no characters or anything. It doesn't really make comments on other other people or things. Right. And the middle, the middle section is has got lots of philosophy mm-hmm. and i suppose there's one thing that unites it it's all it's all the unconscious it's quite a surrealist piece right but the short story at the end is almost a dream a, a dreamscape mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a journey from dusk to dawn and it's almost like describing a night time, yeah or describing yeah. a night in a in an imaginative surreal way really somebody's right. journey literally yes. oh wow wow um the the illustrations that are in here were, were they created to complement this or was this kind of a thing of you you pick things and you thought that will go with that or were they were they written uh, were they done afterwards no or? yeah i specifically went through the poems and tried to illustrate as many as possible right but, um the, the the third the short story part at the end isn't mm-hmm. illustrated at all but no. I, I wanted to include lots of drawings and i knew it was going to be black and white so mm-hmm. i used ink and pen to give a really rough sort of scribbly feeling so it's all feeling based that's right. the crucial thing right. yes. I wanted to make it so there's not so much in intellectual information as mm-hmm. it generates a feeling the whole thing does and that's what the drawings are about too right. so I was experimenting with mixing words and mixing images to right. to create something strange so so in each case did, did the illustration follow the writing in each case Always, it was never yeah. the other way around never the other way around no yeah. okay that's really interesting um, I'd, I'd really like to hear something from this if we can are you um, happy to yes, read something yes, that would yeah, be wonderful yeah, I'll read something um, I'll read something from the first section uh, which is where the title comes from Deep Dark Light this is just called Bed and it's about about that morning uh, that time of the morning at 4am where you're lying awake and strange thoughts and feelings go through your head and you can't understand them mm-hmm. really it's um, and it uh, begins 4am and wide awake in deep dark light 4am and burning in deep dark night. 
A black hole soul burns, a wide eyes gaze to see. No hope inside this maze of dead ends. It all feels explored, all the ends feel dead. But they are not, for feelings are romantic. Romantic, past the laudanum overdose. For the atheist realist, there's no rational hope. One's escapism must be in history's arms, the lives of past artists, who could not see their light. We must see ours and cling to its weak warmth in love, to each day do our best, shine our heart to the cold, dark sky above. The genius is forever alone, in mind, in soul, inside. It is in this place, this crucible, where the heart of Pi resides. I saw the last digit of Pi today, burning at the end of time and space, flickering a tiny hello from a place of pure beauty. There is a lens that makes all of its digits one. Thank you, Mark.